Refractometers. I'm sure all you guys know what one of these are, but you probably don't use them very often. This is an extremely important tool to make all metalworking fluids work correctly. It's very simple to operate. You put a drop of fluid, lower the daylight plate, look through the scale, and inside there you're going to see a scale typically 0 to 32 on a refractometer. You want to run your coolant wherever your recommended concentration by your manufacturer. Whatever brand you're using, they should tell you where they want to see the refractometer reading. If you notice that the reading is diffused, we call that diffused reading because the coolant is getting old and typically has some tramp oil in it. Whey oil, hydraulic oil, spindle oil. You'll notice that the reading is very hard to determine. It'll be from 8 to 10, so to speak. You'll also notice on brand new coolant, the line is nice and sharp. When it starts becoming diffused, that means you need to increase your skimming to get the tramp oils out of the coolant because eventually it will cause some very nasty residues, could possibly cause some odors, and even cause smoke in the shop over a period of time. Most all coolants have a refractometer factor to some degree. Many of our products are what's called a one-to-one -one reading. One-to-one -one simply means what you see is what you got. 8% is 8%. But other coolants are some that have multiplication factors or multipliers as we call them, as high as 2.5 uh, or 2.3. This simply means whatever reading you get, you multiply that given number, that is your true concentration because what they're telling you is the coolant has already been diluted somewhat with water to begin with, and you're going to dilute it again with water again. So you need to take that into account when you use a multiplier. Calibrating your refractometer. You need to make sure it's calibrated just like you would for a mic. They get out of calibration very easily. You put a drop of water on the refractometer plate. You close the lid. It's called a daylight plate. You look through the scale. It's a 0 to 32. If it's not on zero because there's nothing in water, there's a little screw right there. If you turn the screw in there, you'll see the scale inside go up and down, make it zero. This refractometer is a little bit different. Same principle, you put a drop of water on there. If it's not reading zero, there's a screw in the bottom there to make the adjustment. Obviously, if the refractometer is out of adjustment, your readings are going to be off. It takes a few seconds to do that. I suggest you do that weekly because they're somewhat fragile.